welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you guys for being here. My name is Melanie and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys how to achieve this cut crease look. I know that cut crease is such a popular, popular look right now in you know, you look online, you look on Pinterest, you look on Instagram, you watch videos on YouTube and they just make it look so easy when they're doing it but then you try it for yourself and it's just hard and it's just frustrating but worry no more because I am here to help you guys. So I achieved this cut crease look using a simple, simple spoon. Yes, something you guys have at home already. You don't have to purchase it. You can use a baby spoon, you know, take it away from your baby. See, I need that spoon for my cut crease. You can eat later. But yeah, you can use a plastic spoon, real spoon, baby spoon. If you guys are interested and you guys want to learn and you want to see how I did it, you guys stay tuned, watch the video. So I found this trick or hack on Pinterest. I saw her use a spoon to help her with her cut crease and she also did a video to show us how to do it. I will look for the video and I will link it down below so you can watch the original. So the reason I wanted to film this video is because I myself was scared to try cut crease just because it looked so difficult and it's just it's just scary but I found this hack and I tried it and it works really good for me as you guys can tell I mean it's not perfect but I'm sure you guys can do better so I hope you guys stay and watch this video I hope it helps one of you guys and it gives you a little boost of confidence to try to do cut crease because if I can do it you guys can do it too so I hope you guys try this because cut crease just looks good on everybody it's something that I want to master just because I have hooded eyes and it just gives us more space people with hooded eyes it it just makes our eyelid look like we have more eyelid than than we do because my eyes droops down but you guys will see all of that if you guys want to see more from me please do subscribe to my channel hit that like button and also you can ring that little tiny bell so it'll let you know when I do upload new videos so I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, enough with the talking you probably guys are tired me talking so without further ado let's get into the good stuff so let's move on to our lids make sure you prime your lid this is something that I have to do all the time because I have hooded eyes and my eyeshadows stay still and they don't transfer because I do have hooded eyes so for my lid primer I'm gonna be taking my MAC paint pot in soft ochre so I'm just gonna use my finger my finger is clean so just apply that all over our lid like I said this is something that I have to do I cannot skip this step and with any cream products that you put on your face you want to set it so I am gonna take my beautiful chocolate bar palette just hey it's not focusing but you guys have seen this palette so many times before I move on to any shadows I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on my lid just so I can have a precise placing for my shadow. If you guys have never tried this, you guys should. If you want that cut eye shadow look, this just does the works for you. Also, it helps you with your eyeliner as well. If you can't do wing liner, this is a good, good help too. Now that the tape is on, I know it's too long, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush. This is Coastal Scents brush. I'm using white chocolate and just set your lid. Have your eyeshadows close to you, have your brushes close to you. So I'm just gonna grab two blending brush right now. This is the Luxie 205 and this is a Morphe brush. 
so I know this is gonna be repetitive but I have hooded eyes so I'm gonna make sure that I place my products right here because if I put it right here then if I open my eyes it will just disappear so I have to go above that fold you know you just got to deal with what you are blessed with and make it work I've been learning so much about hooded eyes so I am gonna take my Morphe brush first and I'm gonna go place my spoon right there then I'm gonna take milk chocolate put that on top of salted caramel and then I'm gonna take a semi-sweet with my Luxie this is the 205 brush just to darken up our line even more Look how easy that was. I'm just gonna take a semi-sweet and I just wanna darken this corner a little bit more. I'm just gonna take salted caramel and milk chocolate together just to blend the top. We are just making sure that our colors are blended together real well. I am gonna take a, uh, this is BH Cosmetics, just a little, I think this is just an eyeliner brush, like an angle brush, and I am gonna take uh, just a semi-sweet. I'm gonna take triple fudge, and I'm gonna darken up that line. And then I'm just gonna take that pencil brush again and I'm just gonna blend that so it's not so harsh. I wanted the cut part to be darker, so that's why I added the darker shade. Like I said, don't worry about this space because we are gonna take concealer and clean that up. Make sure you blend everything. I'm just using a pencil brush so I can precisely apply the product where I want it. We are going to move on to the lid now, I mean the little open space that we left. We are going to take our concealer one more time. I am taking my paint pot again and then we are now going to carve our crease. This spoon just helps us with the shape but you still got to go in and clean it up. Just flick it up a lot. I will put something shimmery on top of that. I am gonna take this is from Naked Cosmetics. This is in Desert Sunset. So I am just gonna take my finger, but I'm just gonna pat that on to my lid. So we're going to move on to the other side. So 
So I think that's all we're going to do with the eyes. So now I am going to go and do a little bit of wing. This is the new liner that I got from Ipsy. With hooded eyes, can't really do a thick liner. I have to go as close as I can to my lash line. Don't worry about the mess right here because we're going to clean that up. We're going to go ahead and tight line our eyes. Go ahead and curl your lashes. Apply your mascara. If you're not into falsies, just load up on your mascara. But me, I really enjoy wearing false lashes. It just change up the look. I think it makes it better. But I'm going to be using these lashes from Kiss. It says So Wispy 01. I'm going to take Salted Caramel first. And then I'm going to take the white chocolate. Then I'm going to take the triple fudge and really work that into our lower lash line. I'm just going to take salted caramel and white chocolate together and just blend that bottom one so it's not so harsh. And this is the final look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys tried the spoon hack. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.